Yeah, doing it now. Alright. Hi there, and welcome to a demonstration of Sim Insight's latest delivery, Hyperscale. I'm going to show you three things today. First is going to be an authored sim and multiplayer while I'm joined by my coworker Eric. Hello. So what this is, this is a simulation inspired by a museum in which Sandra will be able to move with us and give us information on some of the things that Hyperscale has been used in developing for various uh, informations and industries. Let's move along. So by going down this area, I'm able to move here and Sandra is able to join us. And from here, she's able to give us specific information about the area, in this case, business, if I ask for it for it. So in this case, yes. Hyperskill is currently helping businesses with soft skills training, such as team building and communication skills. Hyperskill user interface is so easy that instructional designers can create their own dialogue-based simulations with just a few hours of training by our support staff. Almost any scenario can be turned into a simulation using Hyperskill. For example, let's say that you'd like to simulate a workplace harassment situation that takes place inside a data center, or a sexual abuse situation that occurs in a hospital. No problem, all of these scenarios can be simulated using Hyperskill. Okay. Then we can move on to the field of medicine. Yes. Hyperskill is being used to train clinicians in a growing number of tasks, including emergency preparedness, team training and soft skills. Hyperskill user interface is so easy that clinicians can create their own simulations with just a few hours of training by our support staff. So next we would go down the other hall. Let's learn about education. Yes, please. Yeah. Hyperskill has been used to help educate students in a variety of aspects and fields of study. One of our largest success stories involves taking labs that were done on campus and bringing them into the virtual classroom. This allows students to experience working with the material at their own pace, receive individualized instruction, repeat the tasks as they feel as necessary, and have a full understanding of the material being presented. All of this is then tracked by the teacher on a per-student basis letting them know where students are with the material. Teachers are also able to create multiplayer sessions with students and give lectures and presentations augmented with virtual material brought directly into the classroom. Manufacturing. Yes. Manufacturing applications of Hyperskill have mainly been focused on procedural training. One customer used Hyperskill on an HTC Vive virtual reality device to teach textile industry procedures. In this application, Hyperskill delivered a substantial return on investment by eliminating raw materials waste and reducing employee churn. A different customer used Microsoft HoloLens mixed reality device to teach power semiconductor industry procedures. An innovative aspect of this project was to use computer vision to detect quality issues in real time which can potentially reduce warranty costs. Hyperskill can help manufacturers boost engagement, skill retention and transfer, which results in high ROI and rapid payback. Workers appreciate knowing that management is investing in their onboarding and training. Alright, and from here, not only are you able to learn about how it's been utilized, but you are able to use these as kind of a gateway or a portal into the simulations that is being talked about themselves. So from here, I'm able to go into a manufacturing sim. Would you like me to... Now I'll be joined by my coworker Eric, as we move through here. 
So as this is loading, <laughs> I'll just quickly wait for it to finish and then give an explanation. So I've been joined here by my coworker Eric. Hello again. <laughs> Hello. Yep. And this is a training assessment in which you are meant to work on this robot over here and try and diagnose what is wrong with it. Well done. You have located the faulty cell. I am Sam, the cell operator. You can ask me questions that will help you diagnose the fault. Once you have diagnosed the issue, you need to call the supervisor. So Eric and I could collaboratively try and fix what is on this machine here. Uh, you are able to manipulate the machine based off of the screen here, just as you can in reality. So for example, you could put it into a maintenance position where there are other pieces of it that you could work with much easier. You can also continue finding faults with the robot, utilizing the tools present with you here on the table, allowing you to turn the machine off and lock and tag out the entire device, and working through the diagnostic steps until after you have found out what the cause of the failure is. Um, you can also, from here, move on back to the hub or onto the next simulation in the list, which we will do so now. So this is a small classroom simulation in which I am in at the moment. Eric should be joining us shortly as we go through. And from here, you are able to give a presentation from a classroom, either as a teacher or as a student, and project what it is you'd like to see on the screen here. Uh, from here, we also have a link to an anatomical demonstration within the anatomy poster here, which you can access or onto the next sim that follows thereafter. Okay, so the next sim on the list is a medical sim, which we'll move on to next. So here you have a hospital bed or a hospital room in which you can have a patient or any other virtual per person and have displays and medical readings being going on within here in the display, as well as any other asset or aspect that you'd like to lay out within here. And lastly, we can go to the business simulation. Okay. So this one is good for a boardroom meeting or anything else. If you would like to use this as a space to meet with coworkers and have discussions within or around the table, and you're able to render whatever you would like onto this whiteboard or use it as a drawing surface to move forward with. All of these are linked together so that you can go in a full circle or return to the hub at any point in time. And we have rejoined Eric here. Hello, Eric. So, yeah, you're able to move about your space alone or with a group as you find most convenient to you. And with this, uh, I have concluded the demonstration of the authored experience, and I will now show you some of the logging system and what was captured within the system. Give me a moment.
So within your simulation itself, you are able to go through a variety of pieces because we have a very powerful tracking system that does almost everything you can ask for. This is done automatically within our system where you can then organize it for your events. Just like any other system, you can create your dashboard to highlight any relevant data. I like to look at the session data and what utterances are being captured by the system personally. So you're able to see what your users have said and whether the response was properly captured or not, as well as the number of sessions. Now that I've finished showing you the Insights portal, we're now going to move on to the authoring experience. So the authoring experience, you need to lay out all of your objects, then you would go to the scenario flow. Adding objects to your scene is very easy. You simply go over to the left where there's the asset list and simply click and it will spawn into your environment. From here you can manipulate the object, whether it's the rotation or orientation of the object. And you can also adjust the scale of the object to make it larger or smaller to suit your needs. If you found that you've accidentally added an object that you did not want in your space, you can just simply delete it and it will be gone from your space. Next onto your scenario flow, this determines how your or how your system will go and progress, such as just giving a message to your user or having a virtual person speak to you. Within our hub simulation, we have very similar events where when you are speaking with Sandra, uh, she will respond appropriately based off of where you are at and what it is you are speaking with. So, for example, when you're asking about education, she knows to give you this as a response. All right. So, with this, I've shown you an authored experience utilizing the Oculus device, given an overview of the Insights Portal, and an overview of how it was created using our no-code authoring solution, Hyperscale. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope that this was helpful for your purposes. Thank you.